Welcome back to another episode of the Spartan Spotlight. I'm Nathan Wegelander. And I'm Bree Jacob. I hope you're enjoying the weather this week. Now on to the stories. There have been some recent changes in the Catholic world. There's a new Pope. Brandon went to go find out more. So apparently the Pope recently resigned and now they have elected a new one. Um, I went to find out some little details about him. Let's see what we can find. Um, I know that he is the first Pope to choose the name Francis as well as he's the first pope that isn't from Europe, which is a really big thing for the Catholic Church, and it's a really big thing for the South American community, um, because that's where about 40% of the Catholics in the world are now located. So that was like a huge news story. He was born Jorge Mario Bergoglio, one of five children of Italian immigrants who settled in Buenos Aires. In 1998, he became Archbishop of Buenos Aires. In 2001, Pope John Paul II elevated him to Cardinal. Pope Francis is the first pope from the Americas and the first from outside Europe in nearly 1,300 years. He is the first Jesuit to become pope. Well, I hope you learned something about the pope today. If you didn't, you can go find out more online at SpartanSpotlight.com. This has been Brandon Walkish reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. Thanks, Brandon. Super interesting. I can spit my whole fist in my mouth, wanna see? Do it. That's a talent. Let's check these other talents out. Look very and I can jump really high. A lot of people don't know this, but I can do this. Hello, my name is Ben Rushnot. I am a musical prodigy. scream so loudly. Are you ready? Uh. Well, I'm pretty sure my talent is uh, kind of obvious. I mean, uh, yeah. My talent is that I can do the worm. Hi, I'm Mr. Finley, alias Finn, and I can whistle. <laughs> my name's Eric Jones, and I can move my ears. Remove your forehead, cheater. Uh, they call me the baby. I'm a Tai Chi master, and I really like to do some extreme stuff. Go on. Yep. Oh, just happened. <laughs> wow, well, that's a lot of talent. Never seen so much talent in my whole life. No. It's been Emily Wood and Carly McKenzie reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Zach Hannon, and I'm reporting for Spartan Spotlight. And my question is, is AP worth it? The biggest pro for AP is the, the cost. You know, if you take the course and you score that three or higher, you, you receive the college credit. There's no closer comparison and, um, of what you're going to be getting in college than taking an AP class. Um, really, the only con that I could think of is a lot of students think, you know, the final or the test, the exam you have to take, if you don't get a three or higher on it, the whole class was a waste, but it's not. Well, taking AP classes was definitely worth it. Um, you know, you get the credits, pass the test, you uh, freeze up time, you know, possibly for some like an internship or something like that, so maybe graduate sooner. So yeah, it definitely helps. Simley in total offers 13 AP classes that cover most subjects. There are 768 students eligible for AP classes and 281 of them take at least one AP class. Of the 768, only 20 students take PSEO. AP offers a college course in a high school environment, while PSEO is a college course at an actual college. I chose to take PSEO because it, uh, it's a lot more free and there's more of a selection of classes. The entire class and college credit is not based off of a singular test. There is much more selection that can go better towards college, so you're not taking repeated college courses that you don't need and that you get different amounts of credit. So. Owen also said that class sizes, contrary to popular belief, are actually more personal and small than thought of. Well, there you have it. 
AP was worth it. This is Zach Gaten reporting for Spot and Spotlight. Take AP Spanish. Thanks, Zach. It's interesting to see what other people think about AP classes. That's all for this week's guys. I'm Nathan Wick. <laughs> And if you don't like the bell, make sure to go to Twitter and tell us what you do like.